Hey everybody, what's going on? We are here with a timeless reading. All right, we're starting off with a couple cards. I'm seeing the lovers, I'm seeing the Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles. Lovers, Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I'm seeing the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I feel like what I'm seeing in front of me is a little bit different than what I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck. Like there can be maybe something playing out physically that feels maybe a bit different than what's going on emotionally. Here we go. I'm seeing a tower. So... Having lovers in the Hierophant, this is usually a connection that we have with somebody where there's like a bigger thing that's connecting us together with the Hierophant. So it can be like we come from a similar background and that's why this works. It can be like we share similar views on religion. That's why this works. We have similar traditions or cultural similarities and that's why this works. And to have this Queen of Pentacles here, this can have to do with something that makes like home life or personal life easier for somebody. But um, having Iraphon and having Queen of Pentacles also shows somebody that is, they have maybe more traditional values. And I'm getting that this is also something that has to do with the partnership. So this can be somebody being like, I want somebody that has like similar values to me. But I'm seeing it more so be like, because it's the Hierophant, it can be about like loftier subjects that we want to communicate with somebody or like have in common with them. It can even be about like, like speaking a common language with somebody, that sort of thing. But to have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck, there can be something going on with a partnership and Hierophant, even a commitment here with you and this person. And Eight of Cups can allude to like maybe not feeling completely satisfied emotionally or feeling like you're still looking for something here. And so it's like there is a relationship here that I'm seeing be enjoyed to an extent, at least by one person, maybe both people. And there can be like things too that we've enjoyed with in the relationship. But now to have a tower and to have the two of swords, it's kind of like something, I'm seeing it definitely have to do with the dynamic. So to have a tower that's connected with a relationship, it can feel sort of like things are finally coming to a head within the relationship. But then to have the two of swords, it feels like, I actually, this recently came out in, in a reading, maybe yesterday's, Maybe yesterday's reading this came out, the Tower and the Two of Swords. Tower and the Two of Swords is like something happens and now the spotlight is put on you. Like you have to make a choice here with something. And it can be like, oh, I, I didn't understand. I didn't expect to have the spotlight on me here. Like I didn't expect to have to do this. And it can too be something coming to a head where it's like, I can't ignore this anymore. I have to make a decision now. So you're kind of like forced into something here, needing to do something, being called to action, but then having two of swords, it can be like, oh, I don't know what to do or not doing something or sort of putting off making this decision. But the tower sort of makes it like you can't really ignore it. I am seeing temperance on the bottom of the deck. Maybe you do have more time than you feel. So something unexpected happening within a relationship. Hmm. I'm seeing five of cups and the king of cups. Okay, okay. We have the Fool and we have the Queen of Cups here. 
Yeah, it's like, you trying to have this adventure or not? What do you want to do? It looks like this is something too emotionally for you. Okay, so we have the lovers, right? So it's two people, it's you and somebody else here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So we're seeing these two feminine energies connecting with one another. We're seeing the Hierophant too. So maybe somebody has strong Taurus within their chart or the Hierophant is also connected with the ninth house. So there can be like activity within the ninth house, maybe something particularly within the synastry between you and this person. Hierophant also like sort of gives me a Jupiter vibe. So like maybe you have a Jupiter contact with this person within your synastry too, which is kind of like a more general contact unless it's connecting with a personal planet so yeah maybe you didn't expect to be seen partners with this person and now you're sort of both put on stage and it's like what are you guys going to do now how are you guys going to play out this scene together with one another somebody maybe i get the vibe that this queen of pentacles is like I get a very Taurian vibe from this Queen of Pentacles. Even, like, regardless of whether they have a lot of Taurus place, like, they could have a lot of Venus within their chart, okay? So, it's, I just get the vibe of somebody that, like, their spirituality or their traditions may be important to them. They can be somebody that's well-read or, like, educated in some way. Um, a bit stubborn, too, with the Taurian energy, because that's, you know, the bull. It's sort of, um somebody that stands up for what they believe in but maybe is sometimes i don't know hard to convince to do what they don't want it's what's the best way to describe this it can be somebody that's like quite set in their ways or their beliefs like really matter to them and they won't really be swayed unless they're like really opened up within it within an experience and with the taurian energy it can move like a little bit more slow too it can be more slow moving because with the taurian energy which like all of us have right within our charts somewhere even if it's an empty house like it still has a place within our lives with the taurian energy it can be where we're sort of like slow to do certain things but when we do it we really mean it so it's like really concerned about building certain foundations and being able to like really build whatever you want off of it because it's such a solid foundation. So this is somebody that like their foundation is really important to them and maybe like their home life or their personal life is really important to them. Uh, for some of you guys, this person is a teacher of some sort or a mentor, something like that, an educator, something like that. They can be a leader of something too with the Hierophant as well um there can be religious undertones as well it doesn't have to be that can just be like one of the ways that it can show up they could do something with language as well could be bilingual trilingual maybe speak multiple languages that sort of thing it's like somebody that you would look at and see them as being cultured is the vibe that i'm getting and like also too to have the gemini here gemini and taurus um so yeah all right So what I'm getting is that like something surprising is happening now. There's like an unexpected even showing up and I'm getting now like a decision needs to be made about, I'm kind of feeling you, let's read this as if you're the queen of cups here. I'm seeing you try to figure out like whether or not you're going to go for something. And if you're the queen of pentacles in this, you may be a bit like, familiar with your routine here and you can have something popping up and being like i don't know because like the earth energy can be a bit conservative as well so to have uranus here where it's like take this chance take this leap of faith there can be a sort of like i need to wrap my head around this or sort of get familiar with it or used to even the idea of this before i can maybe consider and i'm seeing it definitely has to do with you and another person it's like, are you willing to sort of take this leap of faith with them? Are you willing to take this chance on them, with them, to sort of explore things? Because to have the fool, it's sort of like, you don't really know what could happen with this person. 
and that's the excitement of it but that can also be why we have like maybe a cautionary energy towards it so there can be like maybe a lot of mixed feelings here but I do get the feeling of maybe being a little bit unprepared with the tower as I said before it's like you and this other person get picked to go together up on stage and it's like how are you guys going to play this scene out with one another now and I feel like you guys there are definitely a lot of unknowns I'm not seeing this be somebody that you know completely maybe not at all for some of you I'm seeing the ace of cups but then we also have the three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it's like, there is a connection. Oh, an unexpected connection between you and this person. This is one of those moments where you may not have been expecting to maybe have chemistry with somebody or have an opportunity with them. And it actually comes about like, I'm definitely seeing there be a vibe between you guys. Like there's definitely something emotionally going on in the air here but it would be a choice what you want to do with this so you have this door opening right where it's like you can connect with this person like there's definitely an energetic emotional vibe between the two of you guys it was not expected because i'm seeing this follow the tower over here so it's like boom you connect with this person Things go in an unexpected way and it leads to an opportunity to connect like emotionally. This can be like a love opportunity with this person. It doesn't have to be, but it's something where there would be like mutual caring of some sort. And it definitely can be like a romantic thing, but Ace of Cups doesn't, it doesn't have to be like that, but it shows that there's like a lot of potential for there to be love between these people and love can take shape and form in many different ways. And having three of pentacles, it's like you do have this opportunity, but you have to decide whether or not you feel like you're willing to work with this person, relationship, open to it. For some reason though, with the fool being here, there can be something different or odd about this experience or unfamiliar to you or this person is unfamiliar to you. Like the, I'm not seeing this be a sure thing. This is more so like, if you want to adventure this way, you can, but everything else, you're just gonna have to see how it goes if you're willing to go this way. But having, Having the fool next to this queen of cups over here, it's kind of like unpredictable what could happen with you guys. There's a lot of opportunity here and there's a lot of potential here. We just don't know where it's going to go. Ace of Cups and the Star. So much potential. Ace of Cups and the Star can feel like, like even a faded opportunity between you and this person. But with the Tower, this was not expected at all. And one of the people may be, okay, having Hierophant here, like somebody can be very traditional and that's why this may throw them off a little bit. Like to have Hierophant connecting with the fool here, this may be like outside of somebody's like cultural norms or it can be outside of like their traditional beliefs. Like they feel pulled in this direction, but it can be something that's like a bit out of their comfort zone or a bit different than what they've experienced before. I'm seeing that be the case with one of these people. I'm not seeing it be the case with both of these people. But that's why I get this vibe of the Hierophant being here. Because it can be somebody that's like... I've always seen myself as being part of something traditional like this, but now I feel pulled in this direction or I feel like there's a spark between myself and this other person and they're not like normally somebody that I would be with for 
any of the reasons that are connected with the Hierophant. It's like they're a different religion. Maybe they come from a different cultural background. Maybe they speak a different language. Like maybe it can be like really anything, but it's those like bigger, those bigger sorts of things. And with the Hierophant, it can be like this Queen of Pentacles can be somebody that's connected with their community or their traditions in some way. And this person I feel like is outside of that. So maybe that's why it feels like a bit of a leap of faith. But I'm seeing the connection actually be really strong between these two characters here. And as I said before, to have, to have this Ace of Cups and to have this star, this is somebody that you connect with where you're like, I feel like it was, a, it was fated that you and I connected with one another, like that sort of moment. But almost like it wasn't, it like wasn't something that you expected with this person or it wasn't something that like one was looking for. It, it just like happened very organically. Yeah, three of pentacles. Do you guys want to work together or not? I'm actually seeing that if you guys do, you guys would really, really 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 enjoy working together three of pentacles and nine of pentacles that's like when we're working with one another and when we're both showing up we're having a good time with one another and that may be the thing that you guys have in common like there would be a lot of enjoyment within your relationship i get to the feeling that you would sort of feel this vibe with them from the beginning it seems like and it does seem to like this is something you could feel you could enhance with them like maybe go further or build upon that, it seems. And that also may be what's pulling you to this is like, I'm, I'm at a point in my life where I wanna be connected with relationships that I genuinely enjoy and this feels like an opportunity that could be like even more of that for me. So that can be why you wanna go with this person. It does feel like you guys are meant to be interacting and working with one another too, to have the star and to have the three of pentacles. It's just like somebody that you really have some sort of groove with them. But like, what's the deal with this five of cups on the bottom of the deck? Like, I feel like there's more to the story. Okay. Somebody's been hurt before and that may be why they feel a bit reticent to jump into this I don't know if it's happened with this person or if it happened with somebody else But I'm seeing at least one person is still dealing with something here that they may still not be completely over Like somebody may have just gotten out of a, a relationship or I mean even if they broke up with a person 50 years ago, they could still like maybe not be over it. Somebody's still processing emotions is what I'm seeing. So I don't know how up for sort of like entering into this. It's like the opportunity is there, but somebody may still be, yeah, they're still working on something emotionally. So that is being brought up into the situation because it's definitely going to be relevant in some way. Something has become very apparent with you and this person. But I'm I'm feeling again like like maybe you never expect you never expected them to be like your scene partner. Like maybe you didn't expect to have a scene with that. It's something like that where like I don't know what exactly it is between you and this person, but it's like the connection was unexpected. And you definitely didn't expect like a love connection to come out of it. Cause I'm seeing like, that's what it. Yeah. 
It like hits you out of nowhere is the vibe with this tower and the ace of cups. Like maybe you never had feelings like this for somebody. Hmm. I don't know. I am I am seeing somebody over here like maybe potentially not being sure what they want to do in light of everything. So you see definitely a connection with these people. You see that it was unexpected. To have the Hierophant here, it feels like there's some big thing that's impacting the potential of this decision, how one decides something, and whether or not they want to sort of commit to exploring this. I'm seeing definitely one be encouraged to take on sort of a hopeful perspective in choosing what to do here. I'm seeing Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, Mars, and Uranus. Yeah, and that makes sense too. Having Mars and Uranus together, it can be something happening very quickly and very unexpectedly. Like an eruption even of, of some sort. But it feel and it happens quick too with Mars. Mars is something happening very, very fast. It's like a punchy sort of energy when we're looking at things as far as like transits and stuff like that, or um, even synastry between you and this person. But it can be like with Uranus here, it's like, I don't usually go for that type or like, I've never been attracted to this type of person before or like, yeah, that sort of thing. Just something, something different. It's like a different feel to it. So what it does look like to me is that it looks like somebody is on board with this, potentially, that like they feel hopeful about the direction that things could go in. And even though, again, they may be like more slow to like make certain decisions, it seems like they're willing and open to because like fool is also about being sort of open to what's going to happen. Like, I don't know what's gonna happen and I don't know what this is gonna be like, but I'm open to the experience. And then to have the three of pentacles, it's like this person is open to the experience of working with the other person. And then nine of pentacles would indicate that it would be like an enjoyable experience. But then I'm seeing queen of cups and I'm seeing, I'm seeing four of cups. So this can be somebody emotionally being like, I don't know. I don't know about that. Like, it's definitely not a, I'm definitely all in going for this. This is more of a standoffish energy, but I'm just getting it from one of the parties here. It's like something about working together. So I'm wondering too, like, is it about repairing something between you guys? But then the thing is as well, like for some of you, this could have happened in the past and now this person is gonna come back. Like this was a situation that happened in the past. Somebody was sort of not into this. It's like you met somebody, you had chemistry with them and you could have been like, yeah, I'll take a chance on you and see where things go. And then the other person was not into it because I'm seeing the death card on the bottom of the deck. So something has changed. So this could have been something that happened like back then and we're just getting background so you know context who this person is for you. For some of you, they're coming back around now. But you would have felt like different from this person for some reason, but in a more like demographic sort of way. It's like, I feel like demographics can sort of be like a more superficial way to be different, you know, than somebody, but there are things that can really affect people in the way that they socialize two and we're seeing these archetypes of like one person being more of like an earth energy vibe and the other person being a more like watery cup energy so there was like this amazing opportunity for you guys to connect with one another and work with one another but then somebody Whoever this Queen of Cups is was like, I don't know about that. But then again, like I'm seeing the death card. So has that changed now?
Somebody sees something different now. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles and I'm seeing the Ace of Swords. So this can mean that however it was that somebody was feeling, there's like an understanding or even like a breakthrough that's connected with that. Let's keep going. Because this does not feel like the end of the story at all. I feel like we started off with a whole bunch of setting the scene for what it was like when these two people unexpectedly connected with one another. This can even be a moment too where it's like you go somewhere, someone's like introducing you to one of their friends and you just thought it was going to be super casual and all of a sudden they're just like crazy sparks between you and this person. Like that's the kind of thing that it looks like. Like like there wasn't an expectation for you to have chemistry with this person. Nonetheless, it's here and it's it feels intense. But it could have been a lot immediately with the Hierophant. Because going from Ace of Cups to the Hierophant can be like, like, are you down for this? Are you willing to commit even to this? And there could have been a decision. And maybe that even scared somebody away. Especially like the person that's within the more sort of slow energy or reserved energy. Or it can be like that person was the one that was like, hey, if we're going to connect, like, I need a contract from you. <laughs> like, I need a commitment from you. And the other person that's in the water energy was like, oh, I don't know about that because of what they were going through. Because that's why I'm getting that. We were given that information that somebody was going through something at this time where they were, like, still processing some sort of heartbreak. Because I was seeing... I was seeing three of swords and I was seeing five of cups and it was giving like this unsure feeling of like, I just got my heart broken. I'm still processing right now. I didn't expect to connect with you in this way. And I, I feel like I'm still closing out this other chapter. I'm closing out this other cycle. And that could have been like why this person was not into it. And it's not because you guys didn't have chemistry with one another. It's because they were dealing with something else. But I do feel like things have changed. Like it's not the... They're not dealing with the same thing anymore. Yeah, I'm getting that they're in a different place now. I'm seeing there be a crazy amount of potential between you and this person. It could have felt like really weird that you met this person and then things didn't really go anywhere. One of those moments where it's like, why did I meet them and why was it so intense if like nothing really came from it? Like one of those. But it does seem like now somebody is like a lot more sure on sort of like what they want because I'm seeing somebody feel very stable now and that may not have been how they were feeling before like they're I'm seeing somebody feel very secure in a way that they may not have been feeling before so maybe this person has streaks in their hair like different color or they change up their style a lot That can be a way that they express themselves. Yeah, I'm seeing like things needed to stabilize out in order for there to be like a clear understanding, it seems like, of the situation or even there for there to be a breakthrough within the situation. And it does seem like maybe you, for some of you, you guys haven't been in contact with one another. But I'm seeing this was actually necessary because then I'm also seeing the Six of Wands over here. So it feels like you guys go from like maybe not seeing each other, maybe not connecting with one another, maybe not even communicating with one another to them, like something, something happening here. But there's definitely space. Like you met this person, something happened in between and now there's like this coming back together again. So that's why this is being brought back up. Ah... Somebody could have been dealing with something heavy, actually. So it was like better that they sort of dealt with it on their own.
because it could have been something that would have like potentially damaged the relationship because as it stands like this I'm not necessarily seeing there be like bad blood between you and this person. If anything, it would be like, wow, I felt rejected by them because they didn't want to take this opportunity with me. But I'm like not seeing like anything really wild happen between the two of you where it's like, I'm not going to let them in. Like I'm not seeing somebody be mad about something necessarily. So whatever somebody had to deal with that could have potentially like ruined maybe things with you and this person. It seems like that's been dealt with now and it can sort of allow something to happen now, like this opportunity to come back around. I feel like someone was sort of like trying to find their way or try to find their like even position within life because I'm seeing a lot of things that are connected with pentacles and even like how somebody's showing up within their life like it feels more so like as an adult energy somebody feeling like I like my status and I like how I'm showing up and I'm seeing them be like very stable even like financially or within their career something like that or they're like more clear on their identity which maybe like wasn't really a thing before maybe they were trying to find themselves something like this so it, it seems like a person needed to go through some sort of growth over here in order to sort of find their bearings even and get some perspective. But now I'm seeing them be very clear sort of on like how they're showing up, how they want to show up, and also like what they're willing as well to take on too. And I am seeing there be like space between you and this person, but then it looks like, I don't know, it's something, something is gonna be brought back together here because I am seeing now these two people like right next to one another. Yeah. Yeah. How about that? So maybe there was an issue with sort of like where somebody wanted to go or thought that they were going. Something like that. It could have been like, I'm going this way with my life and the other person, I'm going this way with my life. Or like maybe somebody not knowing. It's something like that. But it feels very much like something has been squared away here. And then we're ending with five of wands, which is conflict, right? Or like something not working together that separation but that also like working out where there's potential to change and five of wands but then six of swords so it's like conflict now where there's resolution because we're moving on from that see it's like fighting something being worked out and then we're moving on and six of swords is about moving on to a place that feels better because it's about peace of mind and then we have three of cups on the bottom of the deck so this is like reconnecting with one another and it can be like reconciling too with one another. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing, for some of you, this person's been keeping an eye out on you. I'm seeing Page of Swords. They, I'm seeing Wheel of Fortune, Page of Swords and I'm seeing the Knight of Wands. So this is somebody that's sort of like waiting for an opportunity to come in because I'm also seeing 
the wheel of fortune so that could have to do with timing something about the timing but i'm seeing like at least one of the people keeping an eye on the other they can be like checking out your social media or like if you have some sort of like platform presence something like that some of you you do photography you take pictures they've been looking at that wherever it is that you upload them yeah they've been thinking about you definitely been on their mind Aw. Okay, to go over all of the zodiacs that I'm seeing, I'm looking at Gemini, Taurus, Aquarius, and Capricorn. And I'm also seeing, I'm hearing flood. I'm hearing flooding. I'm also seeing Mars and I'm seeing Uranus. Yeah, that's everybody. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.